this is the Tor Plus Fat Tire All-Terrain E-Bike by Mock Wheel that they sent me for review. It's new to the market. It's got great design features. The geometry is really good on the bike, making, making it a real pleasure to ride. I took it out on a camping trip last week, got it all muddy, and while I was out there, I did the review on the bike. So let's go there now and you'll see what I mean. Well, as you can see, I've been ringing the bike out today and then some. It's pretty muddy down here. Down here along the Missouri River. Not even springtime yet, just about though. With myself at 200 pounds, and I'm 5'11", and I had 60 pounds of gear strapped to the back here today, uh, the bike was really stable. It, uh, it's very stable. I didn't have any trouble getting down the trails uh, to this particular camp spot today. Because of the steep inclines I came down and the heavy load that I had on it today, I was concerned about the brakes, they're the mechanical discs, but they did fine. I didn't have any trouble at all with them. I've gotten them broken in. When you first get the bike, they're, they need to break in just a little bit and those brake pads also need to be adjusted. But I didn't have any trouble with the brakes at all. I thought it was just great. One thing you can notice about this bike is look how high the handlebars are. They're higher than just about any other fat tire bike that I've seen so far. They're very adjustable. You can loosen this up and you can, you can tilt this one way or the other way. You can rotate the handlebars and get them exactly where you want it. Now, one thing that I noticed with these really high handlebars was that the riding position is really upright so it's very comfortable. Your back stays, you know, you don't, your back doesn't get all sore by being hunched over at all. And the other thing is that when you're standing up to go down hills or something like that, you're, it, you know, so your brakes, you know, so you can lean back for your brakes, put the weight back. The handle, you're not bending over trying to reach the handlebars. They're, you're easily maneuverable because the handlebars are right up there where you're at. Now the frame size here is for anybody from five foot three to six foot four. Five foot three is a little on the small side for this bike, I think. I think you can ride it. The seat goes down far enough and you can adjust those handlebars to where you can get at them, but it's a pretty big bike. One thing I did notice was being heavily loaded sure smooths out the bumps. You don't get bumped around as much. It was a lot smoother, like kind of like riding a big Buick, but it was very smooth and comfortable. That's one thing to be said for four inch wide, 26 inch diameter fat tire e-bikes. They are really comfortable on the trails and a lot more maneuverable than you would think. Now, you know, for serious mountain biking, that might not be the answer. I don't do serious mountain biking. I do a lot of rough trail riding though. And the fat tire e-bikes like this, like this mock wheel tour plus here just seems to make you look better because <laughs> they're easier to handle. Well, along the front of the frame here is a 48 volt, 16 amp hour battery, which is, comes out really very easily. And it's actually large for e-bikes. It's kind of at the larger end of, of what you can get on an e-bike these days. You can charge it either out of the bike or you can charge it while it's still in the bike. Lithium battery, of course. It's a 750 watt hub drive motor and it gives this bike a lot of power. I hope they don't mind me showing the bike so dirty like this, but this is real. You know, we're actually out here using it. Now they claim up to 45 miles per charge and that's not pushing it at all. I think that's a, a really honest estimate because I know that um, riding the bike, I can get 30 miles on this bike using just a, lo a lot of, uh, of top level uh, pedal assist, like four and five, and also using a whole lot of throttle. It's easy to get 30 miles on this bike. So with pedal assist, you'll get 45 miles on it, uh, especially if you keep your tires up to pressure, which is important, and if you're on fairly level surfaces, you'll see that 45 miles. 
On the other end of that, if you get out here on these trails where you're constantly going up really steep hills and you're using max throttle and you're using a lot of power, that would probably go down to more like 25 miles uh, for your uh, range estimate. Now the hub drive motor on the bike, uh, the 750 watt hub drive motor, puts out 85 newton meters of torque and that's more than, than the average fat tire e-bike on the market today. Most of those are putting out 80. So you should see a pretty big difference on hill climbs. Now, you don't see a difference in top speed and because uh, the top speed is regulated on these because you, you, you can only go so fast on an e-bike before it becomes a motorcycle. So the top speed is limited. So where you do see the difference in, the, in how much torque it has is when you're going up steep, steep hills and you're laboring to get to the top or not. I mean, it's either easy or, it's, uh, or it isn't. Now later on, we're gonna get this bike out and on a day when it's not windy. And in this video yet, stay around, stick around because we're gonna get it out and see how, just exactly how it does on the hills. Now it comes with everything you see. It comes with the, the fenders. Uh, it's a, by the way, that's a really bright light. I tried it out last night and this is, this is brighter than normal for the e-bikes. It's got a really bright tail light and it's got uh, uh, um, stop light, you know, brake lights on either either brake level here. And it comes with a three amp battery charger, which is better than the typical two amp that you see on e-bike chargers. So you'll charge your battery in three to five hours approximately. As for what it comes with, it comes with a bicycle pump that handles both style um, bike valves. Comes with a three amp charger comes with wheel reflectors that I haven't installed yet. It has a package full of spare parts, a couple of uh, axle nuts, some spare screws that hold on the basket or the uh, if you decide to buy a front basket for it, and a set of brake pads, replacement brake pads, and uh, some uh, wire ties to or tie wraps to secure wiring if you need to. Comes with some um, high quality looking wrenches. They look pretty good. Definitely good enough to put a bike together and to maintain it for the rest of the time you own it. And it comes with the nicest set of Allen wrenches I've seen yet with any, any of the bikes I've gotten. And on the end are these ball ends, which is, makes it really fast to put the screw in or the bolt in. And then you finish it off with the uh, angle end down here. Okay, the, the mirror here is mine. I put that on uh, every e-bike I ride this just for safety in traffic. But you can see here is the, I like it when there's a headlight switch and a horn separate so that you don't have to fuss around for them. Like uh, so many e-bikes, you got to push down two buttons to get the headlight to come on. This one is headlight on, headlight off, just so easy. Now this is how you adjust your uh, display over here and how you set your speeds. Uh, press up here to raise the pedal assist level up and, and press down to bring it down. The on and off button is down here on the, on the bottom. Right here is with the pedal assist level. Right now I've got it on number two, three, four, five, and five is the max. Down below you can see um, your total mileage or you can scroll through here and get trip mileage. You can see how many volts the motor is, uh, the battery is putting out. You can check the current draw down here also. Up here of course is your speed limit and up here is your battery level. Over here it's got a seven speed Shimano shifter and it comes with a half twist throttle, which is my favorite. By the way, speaking of that mirror, it's easy to put a mirror on this bike because you don't have to cut the cap open over here. All you need to do is loosen this up over here and remove this cap. Slide your mirror in and tighten this back down. You can tighten your mirror too. And then you tighten this back down to tighten your grips. I like the grips because they do tighten down and they don't swing around on you. They don't, they don't pivot around like so many bikes do with this, this moves. These you can tighten down nice and snug so the, the grip stays exactly where it's at. Now it doesn't have rear suspension, but it does have front suspension and it works very well. Front fork suspension. Over here you can adjust the amount of tension on the spring of the suspension so you can make it stiffer or looser. And over here on this side, you can lock the front fork out or 
open it up so it's working again. On this side is where you charge the battery if you just want to charge it while it's in the bike. People ask me, how waterproof are these? Well, pretty darn waterproof. Uh, you, for one thing, you don't take it through a, a stream where the water goes up above that hub back there. That would be a, a bad thing to do. But riding it in the rain shouldn't be any problem at all. Those hub drive motors are, are nicely sealed, as is the um, electrical components. But the uh, electrical connections down inside here are nicely sealed up. And uh, the battery, you don't want to get the battery wet if possible. You want to keep that as dry as possible, but even that's sealed. Now, of course, it's designed to handle all kinds of terrain from snow to sand to, well, mud, as you can see, <laughs> and gravel. It should be very stable on a gravel, on a gravel road, too. The weight of the bike is 80 pounds. It's not a lightweight, but uh, it's just the same as most of the other fat tire e-bikes. Oh, the frame is all aluminum. It's 6061. They did a beautiful job putting this frame together. Look up here in the front. This is all, you don't see any weld marks at all up here. Not till you get back to the seat post back here do you see some very neat welds. Now, welds on aluminum are a lot beefier than they are on a, on a steel frame bike. I don't know how many teeth the front ring has here. I think it's 42. It looks like it's a rust resistant chain to me. And the Shimano Tournay derailleur back here is 14 to 28 uh, teeth on the uh, gear stack. The brakes are uh, Zoom brand brakes, which is a good brand from what I hear. And it's 180 millimeter discs front and rear. I can tell you that the seat is very comfortable. It's wide and it's deeply padded. And the rear rack back here is nicely made. It's wider than other racks. Now that won't take the uh, saddlebag style panniers. You have to get the panniers that, that mount on each side individually. This is a very substantial rear rack. The fenders are plastic, which is what I prefer. They don't dent and they don't rust. The kickstand is mounted back behind the pedal so it doesn't get in the way when you're backing the bike up and the pedals naturally rotate when you do that. But one uh, complaint I do have about the bike and I told the manufacturer is that the kickstand is too far back and if you're on any sort of a incline at all, the bike kind of, the bike wants to kind of roll off its own in, own kickstand, like kind of like, like that. But they are aware of that. Kickstand works all right. I mean, it's working right now, but you need to kind of be careful if you're, if the bike is sloped, pointed down on it, like a downhill driveway or something like that, it can roll forward off that stand. Now the power assist is very smooth on the bike and it doesn't matter if you've got it in levels one up to level five. When you're starting out from a stop, it's not jerky. It's just kind of smooth. And within about three fourths of a revolution of the pedal, the power assist kicks in. Well, let me get it back home, get it cleaned up, and uh, we'll do some tests on it and see how it rides. Okay, let's do the hill test on this Mach Wheel Tour Plus. I've got it set at the max, max power assist, max speed. Uh, winds are light. I've got a full battery. Let's see how it does. It looks like about, got down to about 15.7. That's the uh, second fastest coming up this hill.
Now the speed coming up the hill, uh, it varies by tire pressure. I always keep the tire pressure at the max. for doing these tests. Now on this bike, the max tire pressure on these four by 26 inch tires is 20 pounds. Now the operating system on these bikes are, are all different. Uh, this one shares the same operating system as many of the other uh, e-bikes in that in every power assist level, it has a top speed. Right now I'm in the lowest po pedaling power assist level of one, and it's got a top speed of almost 10 miles an hour. Power assist level two, just under 15. Power assist level three, it's about 18. Four, about 21, 22. And then five, looks like I'm getting 24 miles an hour. This is a class three e-bike and with pedal assist, you can make 28 miles an hour. Looks a little better with the mud cleaned off it. So what's to like and what's not to like about the bike? Um, there's very few things to dislike. The only thing that I can come up with is the position of that stand because with any sort of a downslope, the bike wants to roll off its kickstand. It just, the kickstand is uh, angled wrong or it needs to be a, a few inches further forward. What do I like about the bike? Plenty. It's, the number one thing I like about it is that the, um, the geometry of the bike is a little different. The handlebars are higher, and when you're riding it, it is so easy to steer it in a nice upright position. And even if you stand up on the pedals, your, your hands aren't down that low. So it's really nice that way. And the other thing I like about it is its load carrying capacity. Because it's rated over 400 pounds, don't do that. But they do say that it's perfectly safe to carry 300 pounds on it. It is a strong bike. So for backcountry adventures, this, this, this one's very capable. Hey guys, I hope you liked the review. If you did, give me a like and share it and please subscribe and we'll see you around.